We're in Page, Arizona for Antelope Canyon Ultra Marathon this weekend. I will be racing the 100 mile and Nora, my wife, will be racing the 50 mile. We also meet up with a very good friend of ours, Fanny, who's also going to race the 50 mile. It's going to be great to catch up. It happens to be my birthday and Fanny's birthday on the same day, so of course we're going to celebrate. So Antelope Canyon Ultra is actually a harder course than it looks. On paper, it's pretty flat, so it looks like it's fairly easy, but actually there's a lot of sand. It can get decently warm during the day, but also very cold that night. I raced it in 2022. It's actually, I think, the first 100 mile that I posted on my channel. So hopefully the qualities of my movies are a little bit better, but I very much struggled last time. And I think there was about 60 to 70% DNF rate, which is higher than a typical 100 mile. It's hard to describe, but it, it's just hard. <laughs> the course itself is absolutely gorgeous and fantastic for the first 40 miles. So first you go in the slot canyon, it's very special, it's a very unique feeling to be running through these narrow, narrow paths. And then we head towards Horseshoe Bend, and the Horseshoe Bend itself I think is impressive. What is even more impressive and what I enjoy even more is that then we run on the rim and we have this really cool river down there, very dark river. It's very dramatic and the rocks in the, this area, the cliff is dramatic and the rocks and the kind of landscape where we run on that rim is actually very unique, very special. It's good to slow down sometimes, look at the view and say, wow. Eventually we make our way back to Page, Arizona, and then we do loops around Page. So for the 50 mile, they do it once and then the race is over. For the 100 mile, we do 60 mile around Page. So it's a 10 mile loop, 60 mile, that's the bulk of the race. And although there's a nice view when you look at Lake Powell, it gets very mentally challenging to do these loops over and over and over. It gets cold at night, you're freezing, and there's really no end in sight. <laughs> How are you feeling about the race? Ready, let's do this. All right, ready to go. It is the morning of the race. It's already a little cold. We both have Fanny and Nora who are racing the 50 miles. So they actually leave before me. So I get to see them go. Beautiful stars in the sky, huh? How was it, Nora? <laughs> Good. Did you succeed? Success. <laughs> She's nervous. I'm not the one shaking. We are getting our starting Good race. It's 
quite special to see her leave. I've never seen her start, so that's cool. Good luck, runner! Good luck! Woohoo! Woohoo! Good luck, runner! Good luck! Let's go! Let's go! Good job! Mile zero, cold. Well, I'll be honest, this morning I was feeling like let's sleep one more hour. Little bottleneck, but pretty cool view. <laughs> Now with the sunrise, beautiful view, and the weather is already much better. Like this temperature, racing the whole day would be so great. So yesterday was March 8th, happy Women's Day. I think of course of pretty important people in my life in particular, my mom, my wife, my mother-in-law. You guys are so loving. The day before that was March 7th which happens to be my birthday and Fanny's birthday. So it's the double birthday. And we're racing Antelope Canyon to celebrate that, which is an interesting way to celebrate. Happy birthday to the crowd! Welcome to the real world, jackass! Mile three, Sandy. Nice costume. You get to run a lot, a lot of different terrain, like rocks like this and sand. That's about it. <laughs> hey, Simon here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm racing 100 miles every month, and this year the big race is coming up soon. Coco Donut 250. First time I raced 200 miles. Pretty excited, but pretty nervous about it. We're racing Antelope Canyon 100 miles this weekend. It's a race that on paper is super easy, but it is not. One of the key features of this race are the Slot Canyon, and we're going a tiny one now. It's gonna be fun.
No, six. This is so cool. This was so freaking cool. So shout out to everyone I got a chance to meet. I'm sorry, I forget the name a lot. But I really appreciate when you come and say hi. Especially if you watch my video and you appreciate them. And I do it for fun and to help you guys. So it's always great to hear that. It's appreciated. There's something to be said about these curvy trail in the desert. It's fun to run. After the aid station there's this long stretch of kind of road it's funny because in a way i really want to catch up to nora and run with her but in another i wish i don't because that means her race is going well and now we finally see the crack in the rock here we go Bigger than it looks. Mile nine, that was so cool. Bonus. Pretty cool to imagine the water flowing. Nature is so powerful. It's worth taking the time to actually look at what you're running through. And we're out. Now we're going to the road. More sand, more sand yes, more sand, more road. But then horseshoe van, and that's gonna be nice. But in the meantime, let's try and catch Nora. It's cool to notice that usually this here, it's only tire marks, so cars. But today, all of these steps, hundreds of runners setting themselves ambitious goal, pushing their own limits. I think that's really cool and really inspiring. Huh. One of these tours. 
platy. All right, we're going down the canyon one last time. It's that steep, slick rock where I think the best technique is the crab. One last slope canyon, awesome, let's go. Mile 12, did I say it was sandy already? The first 40 miles is where you really gotta have fun on this course. But some of it is just kind of sandy roads. And it's retiring. Really it doesn't look that much harder, but it is. Jeez, you're a little irritable cow. What's the matter, you got some sand in your vagina? No, I don't have sand in my vagina. Look what I found, more sand. Gonna be great. It's not new. Don't mind Kyle, everyone. He's just got a little sand in his vagina. There's no sand in my vagina. Boys, watch your language. Mile 15. Happy. Even though often just before a race, or even at some point in the race, I'm thinking, ah, why am I doing that? Why am I pushing so hard? There's a lot more of happy moments and moments of fulfillment and wonders and excitement. We can see the rim of Page, where we'll be running later. But also what's cool is we can look at the rocks. I really like this white line it goes everywhere. I really don't understand it because it's not aligned with the striation of the rocks. And click it under on the bottom of that. Ooh, she... hey buddy. <laughs> sometimes you feel like a giant, like when we'll be on top of Horseshoe Bend. And sometimes you feel like an ant, like right now walking in this canyon. We feel tiny, tiny. I don't like sand. It's coarse, rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Mile 18, it's for real. Thank you. Yeah. Great job. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, everyone. I took a solid four minutes in there. Way too long. I think the odds that I would catch to Nora are basically zero at this point. <laughs> High five! High five! How are you? We'll get lost yeah. and then you need to... I look like ahead and I see these guys there and I hope they're not lost so that's where I'm yeah. aiming.
This is cool. <laughs> Mile 21 Fanny. So we're talking Cocodona together. It's gonna be exciting. Yes, I already. This is cool. Mile 24, last. Split way with Fanny. It was so nice to run with her and see her for the birthday. Happy birthday again, Fanny. Very excited to be racing with you here and very soon in Cocodona. Good job. And you too, keep it out. Thanks. I hope it lived up to all the hype. You must feel so much better now. Kyle, we've got to get that sand out of your vagina. It's making you cranky. Does it itch? It was so cool to run by that river. The cliffs are so majestic. And those rock formation, it's so cool. The sand, however, all right. Mile 27, my way or the highway. We're about to cross the highway. So normally we would go down another canyon here. Unfortunately, we're not going in. It would be down there. It felt like Star Wars a little bit. I keep looking far away to see if I can see Nara, but I don't think so. I think she's way ahead. I'm glad she's having a good day. We're on this segment that on the map, a straight line. And it looks boring on the map. Well, Mile 30, bored. Feeling, feeling it. I'm struggling a little bit to eat. I had only one applesauce in our last aid station. I had 200 ml of Coke and about half an avocado, but that's not enough. And look, more sand. Do you know where sh comes from? Uh, from your ass, children. Detective Sandy Vagina here thinks that sh might have something to do with everyone getting sick. Guess who's back? Oh. All right, poo poo. Well, I really had to go. It was easily uh, three curricks. That ruined my chance of catching up to Nara, unfortunately. One of my drive right now is I'm thinking if she's struggling, she's going to start to walk and I want to be there for her if that happens. Mile 33, more sand. No! 
we're slowly making our way back to Page, where the rest of the race will be. These little holes, they look like a Star Wars thing. I haven't been so good lately at taking care of myself. I don't drink enough, I don't eat enough. I don't even run fast. Mile 36, page rim. We can see in the distance the water jug. So we're getting there. Good job. Good job. Woo! Yeah. Okay. You guys, look here. In this Nancy Drew mystery, Nancy goes to the beach and gets sand trapped in her shoe. <laughs> this could explain how Kyle got it in his vagina. Carmen, this is serious! So am I, Kyle. You could become a walking tan burn. I was so glad to see Fanny at the end today. Oh! But <laughs> Mile 39, Fanny again. I was really glad to meet Fanny again. I always feel so good to know that people who care about are doing well. She had to empty sand in her shoes, but she was looking strong. And now I'm still trying to chase Nara, but she's gonna finish long before, very proud of her. Mile 42, I'm drained. Mile 45, ay ay ay. So if you do this race, you gotta be careful when you reach the ridge or the rim, there will be a water jog. Well, make sure, check your course, but I think everyone has to turn right the first time. But it was very confusing and we, we saw at least one person going the wrong way and you don't want to do an extra lap here. That would suck balls. Good job, Fanny. Hey, on se voit, on se voit demain matin. Ouais. <laughs> All right, take care. Okay. What, what? And we're alone now. It was great to share miles with Fanny. 
and it was great to not share a mile with Nora. Well, it would have been great to share some miles with Nora, but I'm so happy that she had a good race. Mile 48, lonely. Reverting to the 100 mile only direction. Yeah, I'm basically alone. We can see the finish line down there. I bet Nora is there. Uh, I love your video. Uh, thank you. Good job, everyone. Good, good job. Good job. Getting there. Liar! From here, we can really see we're on the rim. Good job. Getting there. Mile 51, Nora is done. It's too bad that we do this mostly at night because the view is decent very often. Well, it's too bad that we do it six times also. Good job. Yay. Good job. All right, we're getting to the aid station. It might be the last one I see during daytime. Hard to say. Whew. Really tired though. Yay! <laughs> now these loops are not great, but the nice thing is that there's no sand, and I hate sand. Yeah, you, got it. you too. I miss her. What does that got to do with anything? Everything. Hate leads to suffering. Good job. Good job. You too. Good job. Yeah. So peaceful. Mile 54. Confused. It's getting cold a little bit. The night is coming. And that's where the grind comes. I'm so glad I got to meet so many of you guys on the trail this weekend. It's always great to high five, fist bump, give each other energy. If I saw you, hey, <laughs> leave in the comments below. And I apologize for anyone I forget the name. It's really not that I don't care. I love saying hi, I love talking to you guys, and I'm also terrible with names. Good job. Good job. I don't know if you see it, but there's a fox there. Mile 57, good night. So lonely. I'm much slower than before, but the goal is just to finish. Well, so pretty tired and kind of in the cloud or distracted so I don't have much to say I'm sorry for being boring right now mile 60 only 60 good job good job good job, good job. mile 63 ouch that's it I'll drink coke and have a quesadilla Mile 66, sleepwalking. So cruel. We see the finish line so close yet so, so, so far. I'm not doing so well right now. I'm mostly walking, a little bit sleepwalking, sometimes shuffling, but mostly just struggling. Everyone, he's just got a little sand in his vagina. And we're approaching one more lap. I didn't eat since the last aid station, but at the aid station I had a full can of coke and <sighs> quesadilla.
it's rough. Now I'm tightening it up. I shouldn't sit down, but I'm just so tired. I need to get going soon. Mile 69, moving forward. I switched to my Kogola. Mostly because I want to charge back my other light. But this is so bright. It's silly. I try to hide it when we're close to people though. Like no. Good job. Good job. Thanks. I've been running alone for as long as I can remember really. Since Fanny. And I cross people of course. But of course we're many less people than we were before. Even the 100 miler I feel the crowd is getting pretty thin. Good job. At some point you get pretty familiar with the land, landmark. But they seem to be further and further apart. Now 72, slow. I'm sleepwalking just a little bit though. Last decision, I, uh, between the decision I had coat and now I had a gel. Mile 75, one marathon to go. Two quesadillas, one bottle of coke, no can of coke, one goo gel, one apple sauce. There you go. Whatever you can get down. Took a long pause at the aid station, 10 minutes. I'm so stiff right now and cold. Oh boy. Let's go. Mile 78. Cold. I've been sleepwalking pretty hard ever since the 8th station and I'm cold it's not gonna be my funnest lap but the good thing is it's the last time in this direction good job mile 81 better a little more awake I was able to jog and I'll try to do that some more good to think positive we're making good progress less than 20 miles to go good job all right that's a good lap man hey good very, job very bright good job all right so i had one goo one apple sauce Last time I had a Coke and quesadilla. Oh, hey, good job, Ashley. You're finishing, right? Yes. Nice. I don't have a light, so. My lady four, moving well. Good job. Now, lady seven, ready to be done. Thank you. All right, nothing this time. Get in there, get in there, you're on the Yeah, bed. thank you. <laughs> Took a long break. I needed it. It's the last loop. Let's go. Mile 90, single digit. Next time we see this, we're done.
mile 93 running so I had an apple sauce and that's it Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Mile ninety six. Good morning. done with the last aid station oh my god I heard two miles to the finish I don't believe it but that is pretty cool maybe think it hurts but I can do two miles uh, I barely had anything but right now I'm just gonna sprint to the finish well sprint <laughs> I've been mostly shuffling so it's pretty good mile 99 you know what time it is. Bye bye, Patreon. Hello, Sand, my old friend. And then Nora and Fanny, I think. Yay! Well, that was a difficult one. Not quite done, but we'll get there. We're getting close. I think I see the fence from the kind of sports area. It's pretty big, but we're getting there. Still sandy though. That's enough! Mile 102, satisfied. Well, happy birthday, Fanny, and happy birthday, Simon. I feel like shit. I can hear the music and I think I see Fanny and Nora, but I'm not sure. Normally Nora would run with me, but she's sore. What, what? What, what? Yeah. Okay. Hello Fanny, happy birthday. What, what? To the crowd. Welcome. Yeah. This is Simon. Woo. Gerard. Simon, hello there. Pro tip you need to check there's no dog behind. Check my Zion video. <laughs> gong, 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 gong. Antelope Canyon is done. As always, this race is way harder than it sounds. The dropout rate will be super high. So many people were cold at night. <coughs> I really had to push hard the whole way. And I don't know why, but I kind of found some motivation to keep pushing even though I knew I was gonna finish. I think I just want to shower, honestly. So I just kept running until the finish line. But it's a great race, especially the first 40 miles. I'm very proud of Nara. Very happy we got to spend time with Fanny. Ooh, it's tickling actually. All right, cool, cool.